Hey guys, what's up? So today I've got an update for you on the child checkmate theft mate system conundrum. So today, um, well yesterday I got suggestions that these two connectors needed to go into the EP2. So I tried that, did nothing. Well, in my search I pulled out this uh, tube that's got wiring just to see if along the line somewhere something was missing. So I had mentioned how there was a fuse on this ledge. Well that fuse went right into this. So that's where that fuse was pulled from to get the system to stop. So um, now it works. So I plugged this into the EP2 and I ran through to see what all it will do. Um, it seems like the only thing this one didn't do that that this one did was like when you turn the bus off and it's beeping it goes nur, nur, nur. this one didn't do that um, now the issue I'm running into is I'm not getting brake input sounds or t or talking which as long as I've known this bus I've never known it to talk it's always just been beeping um, so it looks like everything's where it's supposed to be I don't know um, I know the brake input, like it's got to be wired into the brakes and all that kind of stuff from what I watched in the video. And that, that just could be missing. I don't know. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what it will do, um, just so you guys can see. I'm honestly excited that the bus just does the makes some of the noises now. Um, so when you turn the ignition, you'll get the ignition sound. So then when I activate my warning lights, I get the activation sounds. But no child checkmate is now activated, and then a follow-up beep, and then child checkmate self-check complete, or whatever it says. I don't get that. And then when I close the door, I should, when I put my foot on the brake, I should get nee-na, nee-na, because it's like a brake input sound. Um, but then I just, I, I get this, which is the deactivation, and if I let that go, if I let that go, it will go off, so we're going to go deactivate it. Um, and then, you know, I get the child checkmate, uh, press the button, get that, but no child checkmate is now deactivated prompt. So, I don't know if that is something that like the speaker here is somehow unplugged i'm not sure um i was gonna try to follow the wire to see if the connector has been pulled but like the speaker's in the way so it's kind of hard to get it to do anything um so that's my theory there um i mean it is very well possible that it could just be disconnected on the um electrical side but that that i don't know like I, that's what i don't know um everything seems to be in place in here though um aside from these wires that were cut that i assume go to the older system which is right there and i honestly don't think the older system works at all anymore um because they replaced it with the ep well the ep2 i assume and then somehow my best guess is you had the first EP1 and then you had this EP1 and then when first student did their stuff with the EP2s, they put those in the bus. So I don't even know if this connection here with it being plugged into the EP1 does anything. Because um, if I unplug it, give me just a second. If I unplug it from this EP1 and then plug it into the EP2, it does the same thing. And it's going to be loud, so just... Bear with me. Hold on. Uh, that's what it does. And then if I start the bus, it, it basically does the same stuff that it did with the EP1. So at this point, like, I don't even know which one I should even leave it plugged into because they both work and they both seem to do the same things. Uh, the EP2 doesn't do the nur 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 sound. At least it didn't do it to me the first time I did it. Um, and I don't even know, I found these other little wires that looked, these connections that looked like they go to the checkmate, but, I mean, they fit, because there's a three-prong and a two-prong, but I don't know it for sure that those go to the checkmate. 
Um, so if anyone knows that, please feel free to comment. But this is this is basically what I've got, and I'll I'll show you the same stuff with the EP2 plugged in, just so you can hear it. But um, when I get on the bus, got the ignition. Jeez. And then. No brake input. And then when I turn the ignition off, see, no secondary sound. Um, if I cannot get, get my shoe caught on my, oh, that's cool, I spilled my water. Gonna have to clean that up. Anyway, um, if I could not get my shoe caught on the seat, like I did, when I go back here, It does that just like the other, like the EP1. So I'm probably gonna leave it plugged into the EP1 for now, um, just for me. Um, but that's basically the update on the child check. I, like I said, would like to get it talking and the brake input, because like I said, at one time the brake input did work. So I don't, I don't know what's the deal there. Uh, but that's the update on the child check. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any input, please feel free to um, add it, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, with that being said, thanks for watching, and yeah. Okay, so after I filmed the first part of this video, I had gotten off the bus and gotten back on the bus and triggered theft mate since the EP2 is still plugged in. Um, so, I went ahead and did the process again just to get it to trigger again so you guys could hear it. Um, before I unplug the EP2 because I'm just going to keep the EP1 plugged in. Um, so it did the little like nee -lee -nee -lee -nee -lee. and then if I assume if the speaker was working it would have said either uh, please sit down somebody will be with you shortly or the warning checked for unauthorized pat or entry or whatever whatever it said. So it should be armed. Let's see if it does it. Oh here we go. And that's when it would say, warning, check for unauthorized entry. So, yeah, um, I just wanted you guys to hear that because I'm going to unplug it. But um, that's pretty much it. So, 